السلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته friends welcome back to my channel in last video I repaired this Emerson R48-1800 rectifier unit it is 48 volt 1740 watt power supply it is complicated very safe design so in this video we will see its structure when we see on internet we cannot find any technical documentation for troubleshooting for repair like a circuit diagram or any service manual today we will study it how this power module is working basically it is installed in this way it is packed here both boards are interconnected with these thick connectors that are used to transfer power connect power from this board to this board and there is a small signal connector that is to take and share information small signal to drive these optocouplers to take drive from these optocouplers and to turn on LEDs these signals are being connected to microcontroller if you see power connector line neutral earthing point and this board is multi-layer board so tracks are in this side in this side these tracks and these dim tracks that are inner side of the PCB line is entering here it is reaching to this point here are two fuses one fuse and the second fuse one in this line second in this line line and neutral have fuse 25 ampere 250 volt AC after fuse these are reaching here here and here these are passing to these inductors one here and second here to this coil and in parallel there is this canister EMI filter one stage second stage here is class Y capacitor that is connected between earthing point then these voltage are reaching here at this point then entering it to this inductor after that one line is reaching to bridge rectifier the second is reaching to this one resistor 75 ohms second end of this resistor is connected to second resistor both resistors are in series then these voltage are reaching to contact point of this relay this resistor plus this resistor and then contacts of this relay then voltage AC voltage will reach to this terminal line neutral and in parallel there is this second relay that is bypass relay when this relay will turn on neutral will pass through this resistor to the bridge rectifier but when this will turn on it will pass this voltage directly to AC terminal from here so these are used to charge these capacitors linearly when these capacitors are empty at that time cur controlled current will be provided to bridge rectifier it will rectify then negative side negative DC link will come here from this point and positive DC link is coming here to this inductor then it will pass through this inductor and it will come here at this point DC link L1 DC link is here negative side here positive voltage after passing this inductor this will reach here at this line here are two IGBTs this one and this one these will drive this coil PFC coil to boost the voltage and here is APT 40DQ60BG 
it is rectifier and two IGBTs 20 and 60 C3. These three plus this coil, this IC L4981AD. It is PFC controller. When we don't have any circuit diagram, any service manual, then we can search the data sheet and we can find very valuable information in the sample circuit. Here we can take idea how the circuit is working. It will monitor the input voltage and it will monitor the output voltage and then it will provide the drive signal at the gate of the MOSFET or IGBT. It will make switching between ground and this positive line. Here is this inductor. This inductor will store energy. When this MOSFET will turn off or IGBT will turn off, that stored energy will be added in the supply voltage. This is the rectifier which we are discussing here. That is APT40. This one. It is shown in the diagram here. This is inductor. This coil and these IGBTs. To monitor its current, here is current sense resistor, current shunt here inside. Its weak signal will be amplified from this operational amplifier IC. It is LM2904. It is operational amplifier for automotive application. Amplifies weak signals. Here are two operational amplifiers in one package. Pin 8 positive, pin 4 negative supply. Output from pin number 1, from first section. Then inverting input 1, non-inverting input 1, pin 2 and 3. This is one channel. Second side, pin 7 output, 6 and 5 inputs, inverting and non-inverting. It will amplify the signal, how much current is flowing in the system. In this PFC section, it will inform this IC. PFC controller. When the voltage are maintained at that time, this positive voltage will be sensed through this voltage divider network that is here. Its voltage value will also reach to PFC controller. Then PFC controller will make a drive signal to drive these IGBTs. When voltage will start to build up here, at that time with this 28C43 or 3843IC, it will drive this MOSFET to N90. It will drive flyback transformer. It will provide output 1, 2, 3. These outputs will purify, rectify, regulated from these regulators. Then here we have operational amplifier 33172. And here is LM317 regulator. And here is also linear regulator AAC. SMD code AAC. It is TPA 102 BGM. Linear IC. 2.5 to 5.5 volt regulator. These will provide regulated voltage for these small chips and this processor. In this power supply TMS320. This microprocessor is used. TMS320. It is digital signal processor. This microcontroller, this processor will control all the function of the power supply and it will communicate with outer world using these optocouplers 6 and 136. Two optocouplers. This is for transmission. When it wants to transmit data, it will use this optocoupler because its cathode side, input side is here. Its output side is here in this side, so it is for reception, this is for transmission. Here is A82C250. This is CAN bus interface. So this interface will communicate with outer world using these two pins, CAN interface. Now here is MOSFET low side driver. Here is 4424. It is MIC 4424 low side driver. MOSFET low side gate driver. This IC receives input signal from any switching device. 
at these pins pin 2 and 4 in A and in B 5 and 7 output pin number 2 and 4 input 5 and 7 output these will drive these MOSFETs these MOSFETs will drive power transformer that is far output and here is output rectifier we will receive voltage at output pin to control to monitor the outputs here are different operational amplifiers any voltage is coming out of limit at that time it will generate error because operational amplifier and comparator always compare two values here it is using 33172 it is dual channel operational amplifier then here is 2904 it is operational amplifier this one is also 33172 operational amplifier here are voltage regulator ICs and operational amplifier here 33172 LM371 voltage regulator AAC it is also linear voltage regulator so this is the configuration of this circuit it will receive AC input it will purify it it will block all incoming noises then these voltage will be passed through this surge protection circuit these two resistors and relay these voltage will reach here AC voltage bridge rectifier will rectify them negative from here positive through this inductor will reach here it will start to charge these capacitors when the voltage will start to build up meantime this flyback circuit will start it is standby circuit it will turn on when it will turn on it will start to switch this MOSFET this MOSFET will switch this transformer it will provide output voltage and it will rectify from these rectifiers when this will turn on microcontroller will turn on microprocessor it will measure the voltage when the voltage level is in safe limit at that time it will provide command to these optocouplers these will switch this relay this is bypass the voltage which you are passing through this resistor network now will pass directly to bridge rectifier voltage will be maintained then it will issue command to turn on this PFC circuit when PFC circuit will turn on it will provide voltage when the voltage are maintained here then this section will turn on it will turn on it will provide output at output connector all the voltage are monitored for under voltage over voltage normally without CAN bus it will provide 53.6 volt or 53 volt when CAN bus is controlled when CAN bus is connected it is in circuit at that time it will provide 48 volt regulated with 1740 watt power output current measurement is done using these shunt resistors 1 and 2 weak signal of this shunt resistor is amplified through these operational amplifiers in the rear side of this PCB here is LM239 it is comparator voltage comparator it will monitor input under voltage over voltage if there is under voltage at that time this power supply will turn off its output section and it will turn on this green this yellow LED here here are three LEDs green yellow or orange red green LED when the power supply is working good its output is available at output 
at that time green led will turn on when the voltage are below the limit this led will turn on when the voltage are under or over this power supply will turn off its output section if fan stopped working over temperature that over temperature will be sensed from this thermistors in case of over temperature this light will be turned on steady state if this power supply is turned on and it is not controlled to can bus system it will give blinking light here that can command is missing for any malfunction this led will turn on all the operation of these leds will be controlled through this connector through microcontroller i hope this video will be informative if it is good hit the like button if you have any question please write in the comments thanks for watching